Hello everyone, welcome to CS220 Data Structures and Algorithms. So let's begin the first session. Today we will print Hello World. Okay, so the first program, uh, so uh, every C program should have the following function. The function called as main should be part of every C program. Okay. And before this function, uh, I have to write int main okay the reason for writing int uh, will be described to you in a later class when we look more in uh, depth on functions okay so right now uh, we have this function called main and the function body the commands which are inside the function should be placed inside an opening and closing braces okay? this is the slight difference between uh, what you have seen in python uh, uh, in python the commands inside a function are represented using uh, an indentation on the other hand here uh, commands are placed inside an opening and closing braces right good now i want to print hello world right how do you do that you have to call a function called as printf i type printf i am calling printf function with the and i pass the string hello world Now I have to end this thing by a semicolon. Okay. So every command will be in C should end with a semicolon. Okay. This is another difference with Python. Now I save this and I am going to run. Okay. To run this code, okay, I missed uh, something. Uh, before run, I, I, I have missed uh, one, one thing. Now this printf uh, has to be, now the, the printf function is going to print this, uh, hello world onto screen. But this printf is not part of C programming syntax or, or the C language. Printf is not a C language, printf is a function which is provided to you by some packages. Okay. Now how do you include that package? To include a, the package, I have to write hash include stdio.h. So uh, stdio.h includes the uh, function printf inside it and it has commands on how to show display hello world onto screen. Okay, it has all these details. Uh, so I have included that and now I can uh, out I can run this program. So now <coughs> to run this program, to run a C program, there are two steps. Okay. The first step, the first step is called as a compilation, second step is the execution okay so compilation is done by a compiler and what does the compiler do the compiler takes a c program the c program is a human readable form it's humans which have written the c program so it's a human readable form so the compiler takes the human readable form and converts it into a language which the machine understands so a human readable uh, program is converted into a machine readable program that's what the compiler does. So let's let's call the compiler to compile this program. I'm going to run. I'm going to use the compiler called as GCC, and I'm going to type GCC hello world dot cc. Okay. So the compiler has compiled the program. Now, how do I see uh, where is the machine readable code which the compiler has developed? Okay, here is it. So when you you can see a dot out. This is the file which is in the machine readable form for this program now i so then now we come to the second step what is the second step the second step is to execute this uh, compiled code the machine readable code and i am going to write how do x i am going to execute this by typing dot slash a dot out so dot slash is the command to the terminal to say execute and a dot out is the file i want to execute and i am going to run it right it's run and as you could see hello world is printed on screen okay now uh, since you are all familiar with python what do you see what's the difference you see from python if you had written the same hello world program in python the terminal command would come in the next line right there will be a new line for this but that does not happen in C so the default 
uh, setting in C is not to introduce any new lines. On the other hand, every print of uh, every print statement uh, in Python, the default setting is to introduce a new line, but that does not happen in C. And therefore, I have to the programmer himself or herself has to introduce this new line. So let me introduce this. If I want to the uh, uh, new line, I am I need to write slash n. Okay, and I'm going to save this. I'm going to compile again. So again, once I have changed the program, I have to compile this program again. Okay, I'm. I compiled it again. I run it again. Okay, there now. Good. Now you can see, uh, hello world. It comes to the. It's uh, hello world is one line, and it also prints this next line, so that the next command comes in the next line. Okay. Let me do something else. Let me add a couple of more lines. I'm going to write something else. Printf. Um, do I call welcome to CS220 slash n? Okay, and I'm going to put semicolon, I end with semicolon. Again, two step. I compile first and I run second. As you could see, now the two steps hello world and welcome to CS220. Okay, good. So now we, we, we know how to print. Now let's, let's play around with this. What if I want to introduce the tab space uh, before welcome? It's easy to implement. I just write in slash t here. Okay, and I compile again. I run again. As you could see, there's a slash t in the second line. And welcome to CS220 appears after that. Now, so this is so now you can uh, uh, okay now to some explanation so what what is it happening here so printf is a function and the printf is and this welcome to cs220 this is a string and that string is called as input to the printf function the printf function is passed the string welcome to cs220 okay and then the pre printf function takes in that string and show displays it on screen <coughs> the concept of strings you are familiar with the concept of strings now now let's look at uh, some errors which could happen when you do uh, c programming first thing let me do the following let's say i forget to put the semicolon what happens now i compile huh so the compiler finds sees there is some error and the compiler is saying error expect error expected semicolon after the expression printf welcome to cs220 right uh, so the compiler is telling you see you didn't put the semicolon now so uh, if you make some similar mistake you can see that the compiler would tell you and then you go back to the program and you put this colon there the semicolon there and now you can compile again and see Okay, your error is fixed. Now, this one way you can fix error. Uh, now, let's look at something else. Let's say I forget to include this hash stdio. Okay, and I'm going to compile again. Huh. What is the compiler saying? It's saying error use of undeclared identifier printf. It's that, what is it saying? It's saying that the compiler does not know what printf is. That's what the compiler is saying in simple English. It does not know what printf is and then it does not know what to do with when you have called a function printf and the compiler does not know what uh, that uh, function is going to be, what to do with the function. So if you write some function and you haven't declared it, so you might get similar errors. Okay, so what do you do? You can put back, uh, I put back stdio, I include it back again and I compile again and I run again uh, dot slash a dot out okay. again so it's printed now <coughs> so these are strings what else could you do uh, with this you could uh, I mean there are some other things you can do you can write in some numbers let's say you want to print some numbers so you can you write in this number So you could see 235 comes here okay so uh, because there is no slash in right now 
So one thing you could notice is 235 is passed here as a string, not as a number, right? It's passed there as a string. And now let me see what happens if I type 235 directly. I pass this number 235. What happens here? See, there's some problem. Uh, some error in printf, and the printf is saying, no, no, no. I am. Uh, it's saying that no. I am not. I, I don't know what to do. It's saying that. This is not how, uh, this is not the parameter printf is expecting to receive. So that's the first thing. So the printf expects a string and you should be always giving it a string. Okay. Uh, so in this case you have an, a given 235 and that's not, that's not a string. So if you want 235, you want the printf to print 235, you should give it as a string. Now. Okay, uh, it works and you have this 235 here. What else could you could do? Okay, now what if I want to print two things? Can I do the following? 235, let's say, uh, and like, hello. Right, so I'm, I'm passing two strings. Can it work? Let me run. No, that's also not possible. <coughs> this is not how it should be. Okay, you can't pass two, two strings and expect the printf to output both the strings. So you can only pass one string. So in printf, these are some restrictions when you, uh, those who are, have seen Python, uh, these are some differences in C and you need to adjust with these differences. Okay. So let me go back again. I compile and I run. Now it works because you have just one string and I can add a new line there and they compile and they run okay, you get everything like this okay uh, that's it for the first uh, hello world program